Hello, everyone. I'm excited to welcome you to yet another promising session on the XAU USD. In this video, we shall be dissecting the XAU USD from a technical standpoint. And at the same time, this is also going to be a follow up detail to my previous analysis on the spare. Talking about follow ups here, it was quite a profitable week for us on the XAU USD as we were able to scoop over seven to eight thousand pips in profit on the spare. And in that regard, I would like to share with you some key moments um, during the course of last week's trading session how we took advantage of some trading opportunities. So the week started with a situation where we had um, this um, consolidation phase between the 1,935 and the 1,925 level, after which we saw the breakdown of that structure, which also shares a beautiful confluence with that bullish trend line that has been holding bullish momentum since the beginning of this year. So with the breakdown of that channel, it was a beautiful signal for us to join a bearish momentum and we took advantage of that move right below that structure, rode the move all the way down. However, at a point in time, some bullish momentum came in, as you can see here. Uh, then we had some structures also identified to guide trading activities in view of a possible trend continuation or a reversal pattern at this point. So we had the breakdown of that structure, we had at some position, um, looking forward to more selling opportunities before the breakout of the 1,935 happened here to push price to somewhere around the 1,950 level. So we had our first key moment here in the month on the 2nd of February, where price was caught within this 1,956.50 cent level and the 1,950 area. So we had our sell stop and buy stop order right above and below the support and resistance excuse me, trend line respectively to take advantage of a trading opportunity. Excuse me, please. And we were able to join that decline to the downside as price broke down the 1,950. It's our take profit target with about 3,000 pips in profit. Then in anticipation of the macroeconomic event on Friday, um, we also had... Um, this consolidation phase here on friday so in anticipation of the nfp we had a beautiful channel which we identified here between the 1918 and the 1912 hoping that price action will trigger a position at either a breakout or breakdown of this channel so following the positive nfp we had our sell stop triggered below the 1912 level and we continue to add more position to our existing trade as price action continue to break down structures like the $1,900 level, are pushing price to the downside to give us over, I think 4,000 pips we were able to make from um, the reaction to the NFP um, event. If you really want to have a look into the details of how we took advantage of this trade, I will be dropping the link to these commentaries in the comment section of this video. And if you are watching on my YouTube channel, you will be seeing the link to that video in the top right hand side of your screen. So moving on into the current structure here on the XAU USD, let's see what has been happening on this pair since the beginning of this year. So the year has started on a bullish note here after we saw the breakout of that important structure around the 1800 and the $1,820 level to signal a bullish momentum. So we saw a situation where price continued to break out structures like the 1860 and the 1900 area after which price was caught within a beautiful channel around the 1950 and the 1900 dollar level. And if you remember vividly during my previous analysis on the XAU USD, I told you that a retracement phase at this point seems long overdue if we take into consideration the impulsive move here that started the year. And one thing from a technical standpoint is that whenever we have um, this kind of impulse leg, um, participants or traders who are taking advantage of this position around the 1820 level with, will at one point in time want to be doing some profit-taking activities 
which I'll be reflecting on the chart as a retracement phase in that regard. And if you look at what happened last week, and especially following the NFP results, you saw how price finally broke down the 1,900, which has been a strong support level for the past two weeks here to signal a possible um, sell-off going to be happening in the nearest future. So at this point in time, we are at a very critical point in the market. As you can see here, we have this bullish trend line, which has been holding bullish momentum since the month of September as price action is currently trading along that trend line at those points, as you can see here. And one thing about this um, structure is the fact that it also shares a beautiful confluence with the 1860 level, a level also which has been a strong determinant of price action in the past. So we are at a critical point in the market right now where anything could actually happen. Price has a tendency of inciting another wave of bullish momentum if we start seeing buy pressure around this area at the beginning of the week to push price to the further to the upside to do a trend continuation and there is another possibility that price could break down the structure both the trend line and the 1860 level to incite a bearish momentum to the downside so these are the things we are going to be looking at on the lower time frame where we want to be seeing things more clearly but before we go down into the lower time frame let's quickly run through the economic calendar as we have the week list with a couple of macroeconomic events that every one of us will be looking forward to and definitely this is going to be bringing some liquidity into this market to drive price movement now here we are on the economic calendar the first event for this week that will be affecting the xau usd is coming in on tuesday and that is the fed's chairman speech and that is going to be coming up on that day then the second one we have here is on on Friday, that's February 10th, and we shall be seeing the Michigan publication for the Consumer Sentiment Index. So we have a previous data of 64.9. We are yet to have a consensus yet, so we're hoping that uh, during the course of the week, um, this data will be published so we can use it to gauge what the expectation is likely going to be. So these are high impact events that participants in the market will be looking forward to this week and we shall definitely be seeing the reflection of this anticipation on the charts as price action. So going back into the charts on the lower time frame and looking at what we want to be looking forward to from a technical standpoint, I will be scaling down to the four hours time frame. So on the four hours time frame, this is what we have here. And in addition to that bullish trend line that we identified earlier on the daily time frame is a trend line here, which has been guiding bullish momentum since the beginning of the year. And one thing we saw during the course of last week's trading session was a significant breakdown of this trend line somewhere around the 1,925 level, breaking down the strong demand zone at the 1,900 area to emphasize some level of strength for the sellers at this point and like i told you on the daily time frame we have we are at a critical point here where price is currently oscillating at an area where both the bullish trend line and the 1860 dollar level is sharing a beautiful confluence and i told you how this level has a tendency of going either side as we could have a breakdown of the structure and we could also have a situation where price does a counter trend opportunity after the appearance of buy pressure above the 1860 on our lower time frame to bring price back into probably the $1,900 level. Remember, this level has been a strong buying niche in the past. I think uh, for the last two to three weeks, we have been seeing buy pressure around that area. And we saw the breakdown of that structure here for the first time in three weeks. Um, during the course of last week's trading session. So we might likely see a situation where price comes back to do a retest of that structure to incite another wave of bearish momentum. And if a further breakdown of the 1860 happens, we'll definitely be thinking of adding more position to our existing trade. So these are my views here on the XAU USD. So it's important that we um, take into consideration what happens here. Um, during the week to decipher what our next line of action would be.
Be rest assured that I will be jumping in the comment section to give you an update after monitoring our price action or how participants in this market will be reacting to this current structure around the 1860 to decipher what our next line of action will be. I hope this video has been of immense help in making your personal decision on the XAU USD for this week. And if it did, I will appreciate you support this project by clicking the like button. You would also want to follow me on my trading view platform at DarkSherry, spelled D A R C S H E R R Y, so that you can be part of my daily commentaries as I pen down in the comment section what my expectations are on a daily basis. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you right in the comment section on Monday as we get prepared for the new week. Do have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.